Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching Behind the Brand. I want to give a special shout out to my friends at Pixability for making this episode possible. And don't forget to subscribe. It actually makes a huge difference to convince the people that don't believe you can watch awesome content like this for free on YouTube. Hope you enjoy the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Jeffrey Hislett and you are watching Behind the Brand. Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with global business celebrity, Jeffrey Hazlett. Jeff, welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be here, and it's always good to be a global business celebrity. So what does it mean to act big and think bigger, Jeff? Well, you know, for so long, we've been doing nothing but cutting our businesses and finding ways to stop things. And that's really what happens in a lot of companies, especially the bigger companies. But even in small companies, we find ways to put abstract obstacles or, you know, in perceived kinds of uh, obstructions in front of us that we think are reasons why we can't do things. And what I want to do is have people be bigger and badder and bolder in what they do and get rid of all those things and, and to go and move to a bigger pond and do the things that they want to do. They've always wanted to do them. We all start out that way, but we've been beaten down and this is our way of saying, look, we're going to think big and do the things we really want to do, but we're going to act bigger. So what are some of these obstacles that get people stuck? You know, in my book, Think Big, Act Bigger, The Rewards of Being Relentless, I actually have pages and pages of excuses that people have given to me. You know, whether it's my cat had dialysis and I couldn't, you know, come in and do the work, or we shouldn't activate things on Wednesday because Tuesday's the best day, you know, or it's not in the budget, or I love this one, we tried this one before and it didn't work, we'll try it again, you know? And so th that's really what it's about, is to say, to take all those things about in business every single day, it's about making choices. You come in every day, I look at my calendar, my calendar might be the things I need to do that day, but you know what? Other things might creep in or other things might pop up and I got to change it. Get over it. No one's going to die and make the kinds of choices you have to do every single day to make sure you're thinking big because I think we all have great, great thoughts and we want to do the right thing, but we don't act bigger. And that's really the key is to overcome those obstacles and make sure you put in place. I, I tend to think that it takes one to know one, you know, like you've had experience with this and so you can write about it intelligently. Have you been there? Oh, I, I, every day. Are you kidding me? I, just like everybody, we, we have all these um, things we can't focus on. You know, you have this, I have this. I call them squirrels and we have to kill the squirrels. Every day, guys like you and me have to kill squirrels. Now in the movie Up, there was this great scene where there was Doug the talking dog and he had this collar that was made for him by his master and he would come up to you and say, hi, I'm Doug the talking dog. My master has outfitted me with this collar. I think you're a very nice person. Squirrel. And they would look away. Well, that's what happens every single day in business. And if we're going to get the things we want accomplished, done in the time frame and exceed our expectations, we have to kill squirrels, you know, literally and figuratively. We have to find those things, hunt them down and kill them because that's the things that take away of getting the things done that we need to do.